Hey guys, welcome back to Pilates with GoFlo. Today I have got an upper body workout for you with weights. Well, I'm using these weights, cans of beans. Um, you can use actual weights if you've got them around, but cans work just fine, just make sure they're the same weight. Um, if something doesn't feel good for you, remember, take breaks whenever you need. You can write me a comment, ask me questions. I'm happy to help. Um, I hope everyone's still staying safe and hanging in there. I know this all feels like it's dragging on for a long time, but I hope you're all doing okay and being part of this amazing online community has really helped me. So I hope that it has also helped you. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out. Leave me a comment and let me know if you like it. Let me know how your arms are feeling after. I would love to hear from you. Give me a request. I'd love to hear it all. And I shall see you soon. Have a good workout. Let's do it. We're gonna be sitting. Now, I'm gonna be kneeling, but if that's not comfortable for you, feel free to shove a cushion or a block underneath your butt. But you're gonna kneel and you're gonna bend your elbows in beside you, just like that. Now, palms are open to the ceiling. Roll your shoulders open and back. Pull the rib cage down and in. You're gonna reach the arms forward in front of your body and then bend them straight back in. So we exhale, reach it forward. Inhale to bend it in. Now, keep the chest nice and open. So you wanna think about your collarbones like they're smiling in front of your body. And as you reach the arms forward, keep thinking about that openness through the front of the body. That's gonna really help to train our bodies to correct our posture and improve our posture. It's a process posture. It's not something that you suddenly achieve perfect posture. It's something that we all have to really work on improving our whole lives. We're gonna go for three. And two, on the next one, reach it forward, hold it forward. You're gonna open the arms out to the sides and then bring them forward in front of the body. Stay at the height of the shoulders here and forward. Open and forward. Remember, breaks are always there if you need them. Take them whenever you need, all right? But we're in this together for now. Grow a little bit taller through your spine. Find a gentle tuck of your chin and keep the gaze forward in front of the body. We're here for four, and three, and two. Good, last one like that. Open it out to side, hold it down. Now then reach the arms out further away from you. We're gonna bend the elbows all the way in and then reach them straight back out. Exhale, bend it in. Inhale, reach it out. And away, that's it. And I can hear the beans in my hands being shaken up. Probably won't be able to cook with them. <laughs> Good, lift the chest. And forward, good, keep it going. We're here for three and two. Good, one more like that. All right, we're gonna bend in halfway only and hold it there. Rotate the hands so the palms point forward in front of your body. We're gonna bring the arms forward and then open straight back out. So we bring them forward, try and actually get your elbows to touch. That's the challenge. And then open straight back out. Inhale forward, exhale open. Upper body strength is something that a lot of people struggle with. I hear it from a lot of women, especially. It's something that you have to really work on improving like any other muscles, but sometimes when the muscles in the shoulders get tight, you start to feel things creep up, maybe into the neck, that can happen. But if you feel that, you need to just take more breaks and build it slowly. It's a process. <laughs> Stay with it, we're here for three. And two, one more like that. You're gonna open out, hold it out there. Right, elbows stay lifted. We rotate the hands forward, the forearms forward. We lift them up to the ceiling. Good, inhale forward, exhale lift. So we're doing an internal rotation movement and an external rotation movement. And keep that going. Draw those abdominals in. Good, shoulders should hopefully be nice and warm by now. For four and three. And two, and one. Lift it up, hold it up there, reach the arms up, bend the elbows back to the sides. Reach and bend. And then this one we're gonna do a little bit faster. And lift, and lift, and lift. We're here for 10, nine, for eight, seven, for six, that's it, for five, four, three, 
Two, last one, bend it in, drop the arms all the way down. Big rolls of the shoulders up and back. We're gonna come up onto our knees, up into kneeling, I'll come this way. Roll the chest, the shoulders open. If you need a bit of extra padding under the knees, grab it. You're gonna reach the arms forward in front of you, open the chest and the shoulders, and then swing the arms back, sit back to the heels. So we're gonna exhale, lift up, lift through the chest, and then inhale, sit back, swing the arms back behind. Now chest stays open, spine nice and long, and we're breathing through it. Go to really reach those arms back behind, but try not to round the spine, so stay really nice and open through the spine. Think about engaging the muscles in your upper back, between your shoulder blades, the backs of the arms. They're all really active. Keep it going. We'll go for another three. And two. And one. All right, we're gonna sit it back, hold it back there. We're gonna do a tricep press. We're gonna bend the elbows and then extend the arms back behind the body. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Now make sure you extend the arms out all the way each time. So you get that full extension at the back. Good, draw the abdominals in, lift the arms a little bit higher. Now reach the arms back, hold them back there. Keep the right arm still, just the left one. Bends and extends, bend and extend. Reach the arms behind you even further, even further, that's it. Good, for three and two, reach back, other side, just the right one. Left one stays lifted, don't let it drop. Keep it lifted, keep it lifted, that's it. For four, for three, for two, one more, both together, bend, extend, this time. We go a little bit quicker, make it a little bit smaller in that upper range, that's it. Little bend, extend, bend, extend. We're here for 10, pull those abdominals in, roll the chest open for four, three, for two, and one, come all the way up. Roll those shoulders up and back. Nice big rolls, and then just take the head from side to side. We're gonna come onto hands and knees next. So you can pop your weights slash cans of beans off to the side um, and come onto your hands and knees. So hands under the shoulders, knees under your hips to start, but we're gonna find a kneeling plank. So that means we just take, take a little step back with both of the knees and then we shift the weight forward. So the shoulders are directly on top of the wrist. Now think about pressing into the hands, lifting through your chest, and it is a plank position. So draw those abdominals and find a gentle scoop under of your tailbone. Now spiral your elbow creases in and forward. We're gonna do tricep lowers, tricep push-ups. We're gonna bend the elbows and we're gonna lift. So hug the elbows in really close to the body here and make sure that the head is lifted up in line with the spine. We don't want that head to drop down first. We wanna lift the back of the neck and move the body all as one movement. One long spine, lower and lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Keep it going. It can be a small movement, remember? If you wanna come up onto your toes, oh, then you can go for it. That's totally fine. We're here for five and four and three and two. Last one like that, lift, sit yourself back to the heels. Walk the hands forward in front of you. Take a big breath in and then roll yourself straight back up. All right, this time we're gonna do wide arm push-ups. Hands down, knees a little stepped back, shift the weight forward. This time I want you to angle your fingers in just slightly towards each other. Shift that weight forward, draw the abdominals in. The elbows are gonna go out to the sides, nice and wide. So we lower them out, we lift back up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. So wide chest push-ups. If you wanna come up onto those toes, that's always there for you. You can make it small if you need, you can make it bigger if you can. We're here for six, and press, and five, for four, for three, stay with it. For two, last one, lift it up and sit it back to those heels. Good, hold it there. Just shift a little bit from side to side. All right, 
Last one, we're gonna go somewhere in the middle. So the first one, the elbows were in, the second one, they were wide, the third one, we're gonna do about the halfway point. So about 45 degrees out, all right? Hands are gonna come down. You can keep them um, pointing forward, or if it feels better to angle them in just slightly, you can also do that. We find our kneeling plank position. We shift the weight forward. And let's do it. We inhale, lower down on that 45 degree angle. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Back of the neck, where is it? Lift it up a little bit more to the ceiling. Press the mat away from you. So we have nice, strong control through our shoulder blades. And we're here for eight. Stay with it for seven. Press down into your thumb and your index finger for five. And four. And three. And two. Stay with it. Last one. Lower. Lift. And you're done. Sit it back to those heels. Flip the palms open to the ceiling and lower the head down into the mat. Hold it there. Take a nice deep breath in. And out. Flip it down. Roll yourself on up and you are all done. Remember, if you want a longer workout, I've got lots of other workouts on my channel. So you can combine this with maybe an inner thigh workout, maybe a glute workout, maybe an ab workout, whatever you feel like doing right now. Remember to leave me a comment as well. Let me know how you go. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon. Well done. Woo. That is golden. Remember, I got you, and I know you got me too. Babe, it's you and me, and me and you.